Look what it says here in Romans 5.1. Therefore, having been justified by faith. Having been is what tense, church family? Past tense. Done. Who said that? That was good. Done. Get a prize. Done. 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 What's been done? I've been justified by faith. Now, there's two things I want you to see. First of all, the word justified, just as if I've never sinned. How does God see me? Just as if I never sinned. How can God see that? Doesn't he see my flesh? No. Doesn't he see my mind? No. What does God see? He sees the born again, new creation, righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I say it like this. God looks at us through rose-stained glasses, the blood of Jesus Christ. What can wash me white as snow? Amen? Yeah, I know, but what but? Where does it say but in there? Amen? So that's the first word, justify, just as if I've never sinned, or a legal term of the word righteous, which means to be made right with God. I am right with God, not because of performance, but because of position. Do you understand that? I am in him. Therefore, having been, say with me, legal term, God is a legal God. How? That's the key right there. That's the key. How do we receive justification? By faith. I don't see it. I don't feel it. But I have it. Are you with me, guys? We walk by faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. So what is he saying? Start acting like you're God's favorite kid. Start acting like you're special like the butterflies were made for you. That God did sprinkle gold in your hair, like the old song went. That when you were born, God said, hallelujah. He didn't say, oh my. When you wake up in the morning, your heavenly father's excited to see you. Go talk to him. Hang out with him. And quit telling him every one of your problems. No, I don't mean problems. Every one of your shortcomings. Yes. Well, God, you know, I, this is Tom. I'm dumb. I did this. I did that. He knows. He knows. Tell him how much you love him. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have what? We have what? We have what? Peace, baby. With the world? No, look what it says. With God. The world's not going to love us. The world doesn't even accept us. Our peace is with Almighty God. How? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Look at this in the NLT. Look up on the screen there. It's so good. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Did you get that? We have been made right in God's sight, by faith. Faith. Now watch the Passion Bible. This is so good. Romans 5.1. Our faith in Jesus transfer, transfers God's righteousness to us, and he now declares us, say with me, flawless in his eyes. Oh, it's good preaching, let me tell you. But I know what's going to happen. You're going to walk out the door and the devil's going to try to steal the word just like it says over in Mark chapter 4. The sower sows the word and immediately Satan comes and tries to steal that word. You got to fight it. How do you fight it? You walk around, you start saying, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying... I am the righteousness of God, and I stop there. I say it. I am the righteousness of God because of Christ Jesus. What he has done, not what I have done. It's not about performance. It's about my position in him. It's not even about how I was born. I wasn't born Jewish. I wasn't in that covenant. But do you remember the Last Supper? What did Jesus say? A new covenant I make with you. How? Through his body and through his blood. 